Hi guys, it's Rose, and I want to share with you some things that I've bought over the couple of days. I did a small online haul. I bought a few Prima 6x6 pads. Um, because I don't own any of the Prima products besides these um, flowers that we all got at Tuesday morning, I kind of just go with what's available you know what's closest to me like um, you know like the Walmart color box paper pads and whatever they have either at Joann's or Michael's and so I've been really wanting to buy um, some Prima paper and I found this little place where I got them for at a decent price so I went with the um, Divine 6x6 I went with the Lyric and also the uh, Fairy Rings, which I have to say, this one here is my favorite. So I bought that and then um, I went to Tuesday morning and I found a couple of these little boxes of some more Prima flowers in the orange and ivory and some uh, lime green very light almost white colors so I'm happy with that because now I'm building a little Prima collection and then I came across these really pretty 12 by 12 paper stacks. These here. And these are by, let's see, American Crafts. And they're these really pretty glittery papers. They have them in different colors. They have like a houndstooth. Uh, motif. They have the stripe ones. Um, I think the colors that I saw were like like a very like silvery pink and this silver color. And this is the one I got because um, I think I'm going to work on some invitations for one of my niece's uh, birthdays and her colors uh, or the theme colors will be silver and blue so I thought these would be very pretty for those invitations and then I came across these DCW V 8x8 paper stacks now these I had seen um, before but I've never gotten it and the Once Upon a Time stack is one of the ones that have been in my list for like forever but for some reason or other haven't gotten it and these are so pretty very very pretty papers oh, I like that one with the um, unicorn very pretty papers I'm sorry if I'm going too fast far far away these are so pretty and they're glittery as well so I got a couple of those and then they also have this luxury stack and these are very beautiful I mean the camera can't pick these up but these are so super pretty they are um like a metallic, well not metallic, it says here it's pearl, yeah, pearlized and metallic actually. It says it right here, let me tell. They're very pretty. These are very shabby colors with a pearlized finish. So I got a couple of those. And this one here, the Mariposa stack. And these are super pretty as well. These are also like embossed and glittered. 
Look at those pretty butterflies. These are very pretty. And it has a bunch of bird cages. Some, I guess, some cutouts there. Very beautiful. More bird cages. Very pretty. So I got, of course, a couple of those. And all of these papers, guys, all of these stacks are $2.99. So, you know, got to run and get some of those. They had quite a few at mine. Uh, they also had other um, collections, but these were the ones that drew my attention the most. So, of course, I had to get some of those. And... Um, on my last video, uh, which was the my glass finds, I was out thrifting and I was out on the look for um, something like this, apothecary jars. Now this small one that I have, which holds my Q-tips, I have this one in my restroom. Um, this is a princess house apothecary jar that my mother-in-law gave to me and what I was trying to do here uh, was imitate that one and I remembered I had this little tiny apothecary jar that my husband received in uh, I, get it, I guess from his job and uh, camera doesn't pick this up very well but what I did here was oops it had um, the, his company's name I don't know if you can see that in the back it, there's a little black stamp and some writing back there so what I did to cover that up was I added a doily through the inside and then uh, in the front I made this little lace flower, added a little crochet in the middle, and then a silver button. So that's what I did. It's one of the little projects I've been working on, and I think it turned out very cute. There you go, so you can see my mess in the back. And I um, used some E6000 and glued one of the um, Dollar Tree candlestick holders. So I was working on that and then I also made this tag. I don't know who's, who this will be going to, I just thought I'd make it for fun. Um, I used some Martha Stewart punches for the butterflies. I made a little vine with those calla lilies and some roses. Added some pretty lace at the top of bow. And I've been making these little ribbon flowers. I think they look so cute. So um I don't know. Tell me how these look guys. I hope they enjoy making these. I know everybody's doing the Vicky flowers, and I'm like very intimidated on making any, so, um, but I do have to try, I have to try to make some, I really want to make some, but we'll see. And something else that I wanted to share was, um, I went to the thrift store today, and I found this pretty little plate. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about my voice. Um, it's very pretty. It's a very tiny plate. Or, yeah, like a dish. And it has this pretty little rose and some rose buds. And it has a little gold trim. Very cute. And I found some of these little cups. Very tiny. So what I'm thinking of doing is, um, let me show you this first. I also found this pearl, it's 
something. I don't know what it is. I thought it was a belt, but it doesn't have any any ends to it. It's just, I don't know, it's plain. So I thought I'd take these apart, these pearls apart, or off the string, rather. And I thought I'd place some of these pearls in this little cup. And after doing that, I plan to... Oops. I plan to glue the plate right on top of the um, little cup. So just imagine these little pearls all around. And then, um, you know, the little plate on top just to hold little trinkets. So that's my share today. I uh, hope you like what you've seen. Um, make sure you guys go to your Tuesday morning and pick up some of these paper pads. Um, very cheap, guys. $2.99. So that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment. Alright guys, have a good night. Bye bye.